New developments tonight in the close lift at Ski Granby Ranch. For a second time in a month, state officials have recommendations to get the lift reopened after a woman fell to her death there. Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski is in the studio tonight, so when's this thing going to be reopened, Tony? Well, here's what we know right now, Shannon. In a written statement today, the CEO of Ski Granby Ranch said the resort hopes to reopen that trouble lift by this weekend. It's a request to get the Quick Draw Express lift operating while state investigators continue to dig into what happened back on December 29th. That's when a Texas mom and her two daughters fell from the lift. 40-year-old Kelly Huber died from the impact of the fall. Her daughters continue to recover at the family's home in San Antonio. Now, Denver 7 Investigates is currently reviewing thousands of pages and records and questioning the state's Tramway Safety Board about what happened that day and could it have been prevented. Today, Ski Granby Ranch says it's in the process of installing a new electric drive on that lift. The state shut it down immediately after that fatal accident, then allowed the lift to reopen on January 10th. Eight days later, the state shut it down for a second time. Last week's shutdown came after what the state called unusual, irregular conditions in the lift's performance. Now, the state's preliminary investigation concluded the fatal accident was likely caused by an independent contractor's modification of the lift's electrical system last year. Denver 7 Investigates has obtained the state's inspection report from before that fatal accident. It shows inspectors were aware of the problems with the lift, but approved it to open on December 16th. There is information that some of the issues were scheduled to be addressed sometime this year. Now, we continue to dig into what the state and what the ski resort knew before Kelly Huber and her girls were thrown from that lift. We have more in the coming days. Look forward to it. Thank you, Tony.